I am so excited to be here at Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland. This is Elizabeth. You know me as the Crypto Woman, and I have just toured a presentation of the Book of Kells. Art is really important to me, especially calligraphy and illumination. I started learning at the age of 13. I've studied with two master calligraphers, and I've actually taught calligraphy and illumination myself. I've also created many, many, many pieces of art, and I've sold some. Some of the originals I still have, some I've given away, and I sell things. So intellectual property rights and um, protection of original artwork for um, artists like me is very important. And you know how excited I am about the blockchain and how it can improve the world. So today I decided that while I'm here, at this really special place for me, I would create an uh, asset on the Ignis blockchain to tokenize a piece of my artwork. Um, and I videoed it as a demonstration to you about how easy and simple it can be, especially if you are an indie artist, a little artist like me, and want to protect your work. Um, this is an easy way to do it. I have also put it for sale, and I show you how to do that too on the blockchain. Uh, so I grabbed a cup of coffee and I sat outside at the Perch Coffee Shop right over there with the library in the background, and I got to work. Here's what I did. It's really bright and windy and beautiful here. I'm going to have to set my cameras up kind of close here and we're going to get started by creating an account. If you already have an account that you want to use for this project, go ahead and use it. I'm going to create a new one that's going to be specifically dedicated to the assets for my art projects. During the account creation, a passphrase is going to be generated for you. You're going to need to remember this. If you lose it, you will never ever be able to get back in. This is a benefit of the blockchain, but it's something that a lot of people are not used to. So keep it safe and never share it with anybody. As a final step, you'll be given a chance to enter your password and you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks like this. At the top of the page, you will see a green box containing your public key. You will use this public key with your first transaction to further secure your account. You will also see a red button that says validate passphrase. Go ahead and click on that. In the box that pops up, there will be a field to enter your saved passphrase. Then you can hit verify and you will see that your public key appears there. After you've made sure everything is right, go ahead and click the X at the top right hand corner to close the box. And, and now you will see the red button is now green. I just switched accounts and came back in to show you this red box at the top that will appear if you have a new account and have not yet broadcasted your public key. It's easy. All we need to do is make a transaction, but first we need some funds. So I'm going to switch over to another account and send some Ignis over here so we can do things. Let's go ahead and click Send Ignis in the top toolbar and in the drop down box we'll enter the recipient address, which is the account that we just created. Since there's never been a transaction, we'll have an opportunity to enter the recipient public key. I'm going to send 1100 Ignis. I'm going to add a message that says that this is a demonstration of asset creation. I'm going to encrypt this message, which is an additional feature of this blockchain. And I am going to say message never deleted. Enter the passphrase of this sending account and hit send to let the blockchain calculate the fee for sending, and that is 2.96 and some decimal points worth of Ignis. 
Let's go back to our new account. It's real easy. Just find the switch account button in the left toolbar, find the new account, and click it. Here we are. Now watch for it. The funds have just appeared upon the first confirmation. That was quick. Next, I want to add some information about my account. I'm going to click on the button in the upper left-hand corner, and in the drop-down box, I'm going to put in the name of my company that I want this account associated with. That is Word Designer, the name of the business that I use to sell my art. And I'm going to add a description here to remind me what this account is all about. Um, it's important that we get this right here. So I'm going to take some time back up and make it so that it's just right. We can change the account information later, the description and the name, but it will cost fees, so it's good to get this right the first time. Okay, I'm happy. I'll paste my passphrase there. And this time I am going to go up and I'm going to calculate the fee. And that's 4.9 and some decimal points worth of Ignis sending, and there it is. That transaction is now at the top of my recent transactions list. When I take a look at the account balance in the upper left blue box, I see that my Ignis are automatically deducted and my balance is automatically updated. Everything looks good. Now I want to create an alias for my account so that people don't have to use my account number to send me funds, they can use the alias that I assigned to this account. So I will make the alias Word Designer and I will put, I'm going to choose account instead of URL and my account ID automatically populates. I need to put in my passphrase for this transaction and hit register in alias and whoops says that it wasn't formed correctly and now I remember it can be only one word so we'll correct that and do it again and wait for it in just a second it will appear and there it is it is now registered to my account Let's go back and look at the dashboard where we can see a list of all of our recent transactions. There is the funds coming in, the alias assignment, and the account information. I also know that I've broadcast my public key properly and so now it's time to issue an asset. Clicking on assets in the left bar shows me that there is no asset information so I click issue an asset and a pop down box allows me to enter my information in a few fields and it will be done. My asset name will be WDSOM37 and I will enter a description. It's important to write a good description of your asset. This description doesn't need to be long, but it can be if needed. Provide as much information as you think is necessary. This asset will represent one physical item and so it will be a singleton asset. I will enter my passphrase and calculate the fee which is 3.4 and some decimal points worth of Ignis to issue one asset. I'm going to check it over one more time to make sure everything is right and I'm going to issue that asset. Okay, it's not there yet, and while we wait for confirmations and for our asset to appear, I want to show you something interesting that we'll find by clicking on the gear box in the upper tool bar. This information isn't for everybody, but if you click on API console, you will discover more than 250 already built in features programmed ready for you to use. This way we can take the data that you enter into the blockchain and manipulate it and use it somewhere else. 
um, you can do this yourself if you know how or you can hire a programmer to integrate it for you let's look at apis associated with assets and go to get account asset account enter my account and hit submit and the json is there ready for us to integrate and look we have an asset Clicking on My Assets in the left bar shows me the list of my assets, and there it is, WD Psalm 37. Now I want to know everything I can do with my asset. The first thing I might want to do is transfer it to somebody else. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that button that says Transfer and check it out. This looks easy. I need to know the address of who I want to send it to and some options for phasing approval and adding a transaction and a deadline. I don't want to do this today though. Instead, I want to list this for sale on the digital goods marketplace. So I'm going to enter the marketplace and just look it over quickly and see that I can search by account ID to see what anyone has listed for sale or maybe by different tags. Scrolling down, I can see that I can even attach an image with my listing. Cool. So now I'm going to go to list product for sale. A pop down box asks for the most basic information for your product listing. This looks so easy. First thing is to get the name well formed and accurate because it is going to be describing your product for potential buyers. Same thing with the description. We need it to be concise and accurate. I'm going to list asset in the title after all so people know that this is an asset that they're buying as well as a physical good. I'm going to give it some tags under art and collectibles and a price. I think I'm going to make sure we only have one for sale. I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to add another zero to that price because I didn't do real world calculations thinking this was a print instead of an original and add my passphrase. The fee is only going to be around four Ignis. I don't need any of these advanced operations to make my basic listing and so checking it all over and I'm going to list it. While we wait for our confirmations and our listing to appear on the blockchain, let's check out the marketplace. Let's look at these guitar scale secret. Clicking it, we go into a more detailed product description and we can see that there's 100 of them for sale. They are only 100 Ignis and there's a nice graphic. Let's check out another one, a cryptocurrency trading course. It's only six Ignis, and it's available online right here on this marketplace. Okay, now I'm curious to know if my item is there yet. I'm going to go click on my store under the marketplace, my products for sale. There it is. There's my asset. Illuminated original of Psalm 37 for sale on the Ignis Marketplace. What I really want to do is list this asset on the Ignis Asset Exchange. So I want to go and create a sell order. Let's do this. Now I click the red sell tab and I see a place to enter the quantity which is one the price I click the blue cell for Ignis the drop-down panel gives me a place to enter my passphrase I'll let the blockchain calculate the fee and it's only 0 0.024 and some decimals worth of Ignis and now my asset is listed on the Ignis asset exchange for anybody to buy. 
Let's go check out the marketplace. Oh, there it is. My asset for sale. My original piece of art connected and verified by an asset is for sale on this digital goods marketplace. Wow, anybody can list their items for sale here. It's that easy. What an interesting piece of my own personal history to say that I sat outside of the Perch Coffee Shop across the lawn from the Trinity College Old Library where I just saw the Book of Kells and I issued my very first singleton asset to represent a piece of my own original artwork. Artist, it's that easy to do. I wish each one of you the very best success in each of your creative projects and I encourage you to be proactive and take charge of securing the intellectual property rights of your hard work and labors.